I mean, we've had that happen now a couple games in a row here. Um, you know, I appreciate our guys' effort um, in the second half. I thought we played a lot harder. You know, it's two games once again in a row where we came out, and I thought we let the opponent be the aggressor. Certainly not to take anything away from Northwestern and their effort, especially on the offensive end. I thought the first 10 minutes they were a juggernaut. I mean, their, their cuts were precise. Uh, they screened well. Uh, the disappointing thing for us is we had probably three or four things we were trying to take away uh, that we gave them, whether that was dribble handoffs or back screens to start the game. Um, some of them, to be honest with you, by you know our better defenders, uh, we, we weren't as locked in as we needed to be, um, and, and they make you pay. You know, my thing going into the game was, as you heard me say, the thing I admired about watching them was how hard they cut, how precise their offense was how well they shared the ball, their shot-making ability, and obviously that was on display the first 10 minutes at about as high a level as you could get. I didn't think we did anything whatsoever to try to you know, take them out of that or be disruptive. Now in the second half we did, um, but by that time, a little bit like Saturday, we were trying to kind of dig ourselves out uh, of the hole. Um, you know, the bottom line for us is we're not playing very good. We've got to play better. Um, We've got to coach better. We got to play better. We have guys in the locker room that got to play better. Um, everybody's got to play better right now, and everybody's got to pick it up. And it's just the way the way that it is. And ain't nobody gonna feel sorry for you. Um, you know, we got another one coming Tuesday. We got to get better. We got another four day prep uh, for the one on Tuesday, and you know, it just kind of is what it is right now. We have to play better. We're not playing very well. Um, you know, I've, I've got to figure some things out. Uh, our captains do, and then some guys in the locker room got to play better. We got to play better. Questions? Take questions for Brandon and Tracy here. For, for both of you, why do you think the last two games it's started out where you're thinking out about that? Well, like Coach said, uh, from the tip of the game, you know, we got we to gotta be aggressive. You now, obviously, you know, they came out and uh, done some of this execution stuff that we was trying to stop, as Coach said, and put, we dig ourselves in the hole. And, uh, when you do that, it's hard to come back. Yeah, we're, sp we're spotting teams' points. We can't do that and expect, you know, to make them around. Just come back every time. You know, we've done it a couple times this year. And uh, that's just not how it is. That's not how it's going to make time. You know, it's coming down. But, you know, we as players got to figure out what we need to do, uh, you know, to move forward. Brandon, what do you think the players, what do you think you guys have to do? <coughs> Is it more player driven right now than coach driven? Uh, it's no question, you know. Us as players, you know, we have to have a sense of urgency, especially as seniors, you know, this is it for us. Um, you know, you never know what happens after that, so, you know, we want to take advantage of every opportunity to get out here. And I think you know, our focus is there. You know, we compete uh, at one of any, any of the hardest teams in the nation that practice. You know, we go at each other's heads every day, you know, it gets physical. And you know, we turn around, we come to the game, and we let. I mean, we don't play as physical as we need to. You know, we don't come out with the first shit like we do in practice. You know, I, I love the way we can get it back. We get it better every day. You know, and I said it before, we gotta have better care of Are there any specific aspects of your game uh, that you really want to improve on, either one of you? Uh, it's just not about us. It's definitely about the coach, our team. Our team is one. You know, we we are one. And, uh, we just got to do a better job at defining our roles and executing our game. You know, we won't see, you know, we, we, we can't keep saying that we got to do it. You know, me and Tracy got to do a better job facilitating our things. You know, when teams get up on us, you know, guys, you know, it's not it's not necessarily um, selfishness. The guys try to make plays, including myself, and it's not, they might be stepping outside of our office a little bit. So, you know, me and Tracy as point guards, as leaders, as captains, we got to do a better job uh, keeping our team on track. Anything else for the players? Okay, we'll let them go and continue here with Coach. Questions for Coach? Coach, one positive is Griffey was far more aggressive than he has been. Yeah, he was. I six thought, rebounds and a couple of steals. to Jerry Bryan after the game. He had six rebounds. Uh, really challenged him to do things other than just be you know, a guy that uh, can be counted on to you know, to make a shot. I thought he did that. Uh, I thought he rebounded well. I thought he was more physical. He drove the ball. He posted it one time. He was on the floor a couple times. Um, I thought he was active. 
you know, without having watched the film, I thought that pretty much the entire time he played, I felt like he was pretty locked in, you know, pretty locked in. Um, you know, we'll take a look at it, but I thought he did some good things for sure. Coach, do you agree with Brandon about the carryover from practice and games? No question. Yeah, no question. You know, there's got to be more trusting in the system. I thought we went, as Doc Rivers would say, too much hero ball at times tonight. Um, guys know that. You know, they, we've done it now, and we've got to learn, you know, when do we have a tendency to do that. John, at times when we get behind, you know, guys try to make plays sometimes that aren't there. And, uh, you know, we go outside the system. We need to stay within the system. You know, obviously, if you're down double digits with a minute 30 to go, that's different, you know. But 12 with... 10 to go, man, it's a lot of time. You know, I think I think having that feel for, you know, maybe when to be a little bit more aggressive and when to, to let the offense work for you. Um, you know, it's, it, part of it is those guys getting acclimated to it, I think, a little bit, John. Um, you know, and then trying to figure out, like, you know, what that delicate balance is, because I do want to be aggressive and I do want them to attack. Uh, we've always played that way. Teams have always played that way, um, but you know they're trying to find that balance here in, 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 in year one, um, and, and, and they'll they'll listen. You know they just you got to have as Brandon was saying carryover. You know I thought Monday in practice was about as good as our offense has looked maybe all year. But we were dynamite. And those guys know. I mean we talked about it. We got we need to do that you know, more in the game and trust the system and the offense a little bit more. Tonight, I think what happened is they had that intent and then you get smacked in the mouth in the first 10 minutes and you're behind, you know, and now you're scrambling and you know, trying to make maybe some plays that, that, that uh, weren't quite there. Coach, you know, uh, appreciate you the double digit losses. How do you keep your confidence up the river for the game even longer losing streak? Well, I think the only way you can do that is just kind of doing, and I've said this before, you know, doing what we do. And, not changing a whole lot. I mean, we're doing a lot of the same things we were doing when we were 12 and up, to be honest. You know, we approach it the same way. We game plan the same way. We, we treat them the same uh, way. We challenge them a little bit more, obviously, and hold them accountable in areas when we don't uh, get the job done. Um, you know, but uh, you know, we're not going to you know, jump off a cliff or anything like that. I mean, I, you know, I don't know what good that does. Bo Ryan, last year I was sitting in my, on my couch somewhere in Athens and I saw him after a tough loss. He said, you know, what do you want me to do, like hit somebody or strangle somebody? Or, I don't have a lot of options, you know. So you got to kind of stay the course, but feel very good. If you're a competitor, you don't like it, you're disappointed. But, you know, tomorrow when we wake up, I mean, you got to figure out a way to grind it out. You, know, you got to grind it out again tomorrow. You can't have excuses. You got to figure it out and try to get better. Is Sands move to the starting lineup something we should be expecting in the next few games? Well, we'll see. You know, I, I thought that uh, Sam had done a lot of things intangible wise that I thought our team needed, especially after Saturday. I thought he practiced really well, um, and also wanted to uh, give Griff a different look. I think, as they mentioned earlier, I thought Griff really responded well. Um, you know, we'll see. I thought Sam was just okay. I mean, I know five offensive rebounds in 25 minutes is pretty good, but defensively, he wasn't his normal snuff tonight. Uh, I didn't think Nana was either. These guys are usually pretty bright and see things, and, you know, we missed some opportunities where we were supposed to help on some back screens that led to layups, you know, uh, and, and just weren't as locked in there as we as we needed to be. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at it. And I'll always be trying to do what's best for, you know, what's best for our team. For the, the three-point struggles are more a confidence thing or more setting up the shooters? Well, I think we're not getting as many in transition because our defense has too many holes in it. You know, I said this all along when I was sitting in here and everyone wanted to talk about offense and three-point shooting and all that. That stuff's cool, but you got to get stops to play that way. That our defense has been atrocious. You know, three-point field goal percentage in the defense in Big Ten play is bad. It was eight for 15 again tonight. They were five for seven in the first half. When you take the ball out of the net, 
and you foul as much as we did in the first half, I realized in the second half we were gambling a little bit, you know, trying to stop the clock. And so that I get that. But the first half we fouled ten times. And we, you know, some of those fouls were undisciplined fouls at the end of the shot clock and you know, now you put them on the free throw line, that stops the flow of the game. You know, you're taking the ball out of the net, I mean, you're not getting enough stops. To me, the whole deal starts with the defense. You know, our defense has got to get better. Um, it's got to tick guys off more when we get scored on. They got to take it more personal. I thought in the first half, guys blitzed us off the dribble. And in the second half, when we challenged them at the half, they came out and they had more pressure on the ball and they were able to contain the ball a little bit better. But, you know, that's a mindset. You know, that's, that's you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't have it the first 10 minutes. Uh, why? I wish I could put my finger on that. I wish I could wave a magic wand. And um, you know, Brandon's right. We did practice really physical, really well, especially on Monday and uh, Tuesday. But you know, the, the, the test comes. You got when you got to step up. You know, I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't think we did that to start the game. John, was your frustration on the sidelines trying to get the players' intensity up, or was that the no? Wasn't at the players. What happened in the exchange? With, uh, the one with the technical foul? I don't want to. Get, I don't want to talk about it or get into it. If I if I did, then my wife probably have less money for shop. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for coach? Yeah. What will be your What will be your message for for the captains? I mean, you challenge. Got to play better. Uh, you know, I I, I just don't. This isn't rocket science. It's not you know, brain surgery that we're doing, Shannon. We have to play better. We're not playing very good. We play well. Uh, we've shown that we can play well. We've shown that we can play well at home, away, neutral. We've done all those things. Right now, we're not playing very well. But we've got to play better. We've got to play better. We've got to figure out a way as a coaching staff to reach them and get them home and uh, you know, help them as much as we can. But at the end of the day, we need some, we need some guys on, you know, they, they got to play better. We got we get some guys that got to play better. A lot of them. You know, it's not just one guy or two guys. And they, they know that. You know, I'm not picking on them. It's just reality. We got to play better. We want a different result. You know, it's the old, I think a lot of it starts on the defensive end, Shannon. I mean, if we think we're going to defend the way we're defending right now, and the results are going to change, you know, it reminds me when I was, Pacers fan growing up, and I remember uh, Pacers were playing the Lakers, and Shaquille O'Neal was having free throw issues, and came on the national television, and he was shooting hundreds of free throws at night, and coming in the gym, and I remember Phil Jackson's quote was, that's great and all, but as long as he's practicing a flawed technique, it's probably not going to get better. So, you know, until we get our defense addressed, you know, the results don't change. You, know, you keep giving up the percentage we're giving up from three in the field. We let people get off of the starts offensively that we have in the last couple games. It's probably difficult to expect the results to change. Our guys are smart enough to know that. And we've got to defend a lot better. We need more of a commitment on that end to get stops. Thanks, Phil.